Good evening, everyone. Good evening. I want to welcome you and thank you for coming to our reception today. My name is Maria Lopez Bernstein, and I'm the associate publisher of the Prince George's Seat Magazine. I'm one of two associate publishers, um, and I'm here to speak with you today. Uh, I know you, most of you know Raul, but I decided it's time for you to get to know me a little bit. So I'm going to read my speech because I can go on and on if I don't do that. Um, at Raul's urging, I traveled from New York City to Prince George's. Um, I had never heard of Prince George's County before. I thought it was a place that just sprung up overnight. <laughs> we traveled around the county and Raul showed me all kinds of places and then he also gave me a little history lesson. He's a history buff, if you don't know, don't know, don't know that. Um, but that, that's what he does. Um, and all the time he, he was very impassioned as he spoke to me. And some of you already know that because you've spoken to him, he can get very, very excited when he speaks. So he really excited me about the county. So he gave me lots of stories about the people who lived here um, and the events that are going on, going on here, all the arts, and I'm used to the arts and the culture. So I was really excited by all the museums and the playhouses, everything that you have here that we have in the city. Um, and moreover, um, he showed me what a difference it could make to be in a minority majority community. In New York City, we have a lot of diversity. There's a lot of diversity here as well. Um, but the problem was that no matter what was going on here, the local media always tended to show the negative aspects of the county. And he wanted to change that. He knew Prince George's County was up and coming. He knew that it was going to change and he wanted to be able to tell those stories that other media did not want to share with the world. And so he decided to tell me about his magazine that he had an idea for. And he basically sold me on coming on board and starting out with just doing the website. And of course it did too much, <laughs> much more than just doing a little website for them. Um, it's a lot more stuff. Um, I want to share something with you. I mean, Raul keeps telling me stop talking about the history because you all know about the history, but there's something you don't know about what happened when we first started. And the Washington Post did this wonderful little article on us when we started on our first edition that was called Celebration, which came out in January 2005. And shortly thereafter, um, we received a message and an email and then a phone call from someplace that I know because it's near where I live in New York City. And um, that's the Schomburg Center for Research in the Black Culture. They contacted me and said, we want you to send us an edition, a few copies of your edition every single time you come out. And so while your stories are being told here locally, I want you to know that your stories are also there in their library. And so the world can actually read your stories. So it's not just local, it's just everyone who goes there can see that. And it's really a renowned institution. Um, but you know, we are local, we are local uh, and small business like many of you have. And so late, lately, the last few years, we've had some trying times. Everyone's had some trying times. And it's been like a roller coaster ride. So if you're in business, you understand what that is like. So you get on and you get off and you get on and you get off and you feel like you're going like this all the time. And what we want to do is thank you for supporting us through those difficult times. And we also want to ask you and really command you to really feel what we feel about yourselves and about us, and that is to elevate ourselves even higher than that. And the way to do that is by acknowledging the magazine with your friends, share our stories on your Facebook, like us on Facebook and on Twitter and share whatever we have, and also to come on board and continue to support us through advertising. Um, and by not just sharing the magazine, but also the good stories that we have going on here. Let us know about some good stories that you've heard. Share that with us. Email me, our cards are out there in the front. Let me know if somebody you know or business you know is doing really well. We always wanna showcase that. Um, and that way we can get off this roller coaster ride that we're having and then really much do, do, do much better for ourselves and for our community. Thank you.